Morning everybody, it's Tuesday. Uh, I've not done a video for a while, so it's time to do a video, I think. Um, we're just sorting this paperwork out. And then we're on our way to Aberystwyth. Yay! Uh, nice steady run. It's never really such a big problem, unless it's snowing. I don't think it is, so... Uh, I'm going to pick up this 14, uh, 14 and a half metre trailer that's just come in there and take that over and uh, yeah, hope to get some different shots today with the uh, with the old GoPro oh! so uh, what are we doing? have a good day, watch out for the video either later I'll see what I can do about getting it edited uh, later on, depends what time I get finished of course and uh, I'll catch up with you at a later time. Have a brilliant day. Bye bye. Hi right, guys, we're gonna hook up to this trailer. Um, it's a uh, split coupling, so it's like we don't go all the way under because of the fridge um, on front of the trailer. If you go all the way under, you can't you can't get to all connections, etc. Um, so we do it without actually hooking up to the pin. Raise the trailer. Obviously the handbrake's on, Ra uh, raise the trailer, um, connects all the Suzy's and then we come back under it um, and do the tug test and, and all the rest of it. So uh, I'm going to stick the camera on the back, hopefully we'll be able to see, you'll be able to see you know, something of what's going on. Um, if you can't, I'm sorry but with GoPro I can't see where it's recording um, until I stick it in computer and what have you and see where it's caught. Um, so I hope it's caught something, if not, eh, we can always try it again another day, can't we? Um, so yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> Doing a split coupling today. Just hang on a second. Split coupling is where you don't actually go all the way under the trailer because you can't get under because of this thing here. So you've got to do it in a split split mode. Fairly easy. Leave yourself a gap to get on. So as you can see, we're all hooked up, 
got all the cables on. All we're going to do now is back it under the rest of the way, do all those checks, get another plate on, and we're out of here. Just tried the fridge, we know the fridge is working. It's a new 14 plate Volvo, this, it's, uh, it's a nice looking motor. So, yeah, we'll crack on. We're done, easy as that. Put the pin on, uh, the dog clip, get the plate on, and we're out of here. God, the one killing weather when they said it was going to be windy today. Good God! to get this load on as quick as I can. God. Mackeys! Nice little town there, some sure where I am. This Welsh pool or oh no it's not Welsh pool is it? In Newtown. I'll be honest, Radio 2 at the minute is rubbish. normally on at this time of day, about 10 o'clock it's at Ken Bruce, and there's on holiday for a couple of weeks now, Zoe Ball, let's take me over, and it's rubbish! stop off and say hello to a bit of nature. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello. I've got no for you. Nothing for you at all. Sorry. I don't have anything for you. Yeah, they're a lot more friendly than sheep, let me tell you. like a little baby one. Uh, well, we've said us hello. Yeah. Gotta go. 
say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> say something. No. Hmm. Well, I don't know. They are little cuties. That sounds all wrong. God, you don't half have a face that looks like a llama. You do. Did you just smile at me then? Did you just smile at me? Eh? Right, we've got to go. See ya! Come up to this border here that somebody has re really nicely painted Elvis on. It's really sad actually, in all this beauty, somebody goes and spoils it by doing that. Lovely. Truck a day rocking Wales. Well, maybe not rocking Wales, but you know. Well, a few tight bends here, it gets a little bit narrow here. Yeah? Be aware of other trucks probably taking a, a wider line to get round corners. I admit, I really like this new camera. It's um, it's all Wi-Fi, so I can control it off my phone. I've got the app on the phone, um, so I don't have to touch it or anything. I can just press a button and bam, it's off. I really like it. It's of course my early birthday present. Um, I was asked what I wanted and you know it'd be really nice to be able to take this to truck fest I think it's uh, it'd be uh, quite good walking around with it meeting people and what have you so it of course comes with all uh, well it doesn't come with it you've got to purchase the accessory kit uh, it comes with all the uh, head harness and the chest harness and all that kind of stuff and you can take it in swimming pools with you 
comes with a waterproof case. Um, that you can attach it to almost anywhere. You know, with the different clamps that it comes with. So there's loads of places on the outside of the truck that I could attach it to. But of course, they're not cheap, so you've got to be really careful how you attach it. Make sure that you do it right and. I must admit, I'm a little bit nervous at the minute about attaching it to outside because I don't want it coming off and <coughs> running over it with the truck. <laughs> that would be a waste of uh, several hundred pounds. So it's all at the minute just a case of getting used to it, doing some different shots with it and uh, seeing how it pans out. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Because I've usually just been doing it with me, um, with me Samsung Galaxy. Phone. That's how I've normally done uh, my videos and uh, a Canon camera. I thought it was time to get something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more up to date. So yeah, let me know. Your comments would be appreciated. Never been to that cafe. Never been. Red Kite Calf. Feel like this is nowhere something this big to park. So that's one of ours here coming down the hill. He's done his collection at Aberystwyth, he's on, a, on his way back to Stafford, which is where we'll be going when we're, uh, when we're done. driving an old Volvo today, whereas I'm driving a new one. Ha <laughs> ha! I think we all have to take his turns at driving one of the old ones. But to be fair, the old ones are uh, good workhorses. But I do like the new ones. They are so smooth. I'm sorry if you like the Mercs and, and what have you, but <coughs> these Volvos are far superior to Mercs, far superior. I think the Mercs edge it a little bit on the looks, aesthetically, they're very aesthetically pleasing uh, to look at the Mercs, but um, not by much. But other than that, Volvo wins hands down. Uh, this hill, uh, this downhill goes on for about, oh, I think it's about five miles, five, five, six miles, all downhill. <laughs> 